An unusual feature lies derelict on a sandbank between Balnaki and Balik Woods in County Mayo, that of the SS Creek Boom, an old concrete ship in Balna lying on the river. Over the years, several theories advanced about the origins and uses of the Creek Boom. Some say it was built as a decoy to fill the bomber crews of the German Air Force. Others say it was used to train naval cadets in World War I or employed to bring ammunition from England to France during the same period. None of these stories are true, however, but the history of this old maritime relic is fascinating nonetheless. In 1917, three years into World War I, Germany was showing no signs of ceasing hostilities and at the same time Britain was experiencing a severe steel shortage. A fleet of ships was needed to transport iron ore from Spain to Britain, but building the fleet would further deplete steel supplies. An alternative method of building was the answer, and it was decided that a concrete fleet would be viable. Unforeseen snags of budgets and a shortage of craftsmen prevented the building program from being completed, and after the war ended in 1918, work was cancelled with only those vessels near to completion being finished. 52 barges and 12 tugboats were completed, the last of the vessels being launched in 1920. Ironically, none were built in time for active service. In 1922, a company of London-based ship owners, Stelp and Leeson Limited, bought the surviving tugboats and concrete barges, including the Crete Boom, and set up the Crete Shipping Company in Sunderland. All vessels were used to tow coal to the continent until the business ceased operations in 1924, leaving the vessels mothballed on the time. The Crete Boom then spent time in the icy waters of the Baltic, when the Crete Shipping Company failed in 1924, the Crete Boom was laid up on the River Ware before being sold to the South Stockton Shipbreaking Company. On April 27, 1935, it was dismantled and stripped of its metal parts until all that remained was the concrete hulk. In 1937, the Crete Boom, together with several other old wrecks, was bought by Ballina Harbour Commissioners to sink them at the entrance of the River Moy, where they would form a sand barrier. During the move from England, the vessel sustained damage and started taking on water. The Ballina Fire Brigade pumped the vessel but were not capable of stemming the flow. To avoid its sinking, the harbour master, Mr Eddie Melvin, ordered it to be removed from the jetty, fearing it would block the quay. It was towed to midstream, where it settled on the bottom and remained for 40 years. The sand barrier idea was postponed when the Moy Fishery Company threatened legal action, fearing a possible interference with the run of salmon into the river. That and the outbreak of World War II in 1939 led to the abandonment of the project. The ship was cleaned and reflowed in 1974 to its current location. The creep boom had a short, useful life but never fulfilled its original purpose. Today its mysterious brooding hulk forms an eye-catching focal point at Ballina Quay and Balik Woods an iconic part of Balanau's infrastructure. Thank you.